Welcome to Lecture Online, and now a more challenging problem dealing with right triangles. And yes, there is a right triangle here. If you consider this to be 90 degrees, and you take the outside lines, that would then be a right triangle. And if you take the inside lines, then you have another right triangle. What we're trying to find here is the length of this portion right here of the outside triangle. Let's call that length x. How do we go about doing that? Well, there's a number of triangles in there. And really, the approach probably is going to be is to find this length right here. Let's call this length A. Then find this length right here. And let's call this length B. And then from that, of course, we can conclude that x is equal to B minus A. So that would be our plan of attack. To find A, I think we can reasonably do that here by using this inside triangle right here, realizing that this angle here is related to this opposite side. This opposite side, side here is 40. That allows us to find the adjacent side. So we have the angle, we have the opposite side, and we're looking for the adjacent side. That means we probably want to use the tangent of that. All right, so let's try. So part one, we're going to say that the tangent of 60 degrees, the tangent of this angle, is equal by definition to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So that's the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. And the opposite side is 40, and the adjacent side is A, and A is what we're looking for. So what we want to do then is rearrange that equation to solve that for A. We can say that A is equal to 40 divided by the tangent of 60 degrees. And then we go ahead and grab our calculator. So we go 40 divided by, take the tangent of 60, and that gives us 23.094. I'll keep a few extra decimal places. So 23.094. So that's the length for A. Now we want to find the length for B. So now we have this outside triangle. And what I'm going to do is grab a different color, let's say green, and draw the outline of the outside triangle. So this one right here. There we go. And there we go. And so we're trying to find B. OK, so for the outside triangle, we have the angle here, which is 30 degrees. We have the opposite side, 40. And then B becomes the adjacent side for the green triangle. So now, to find B, we're going to use the following technique. Again, we have the opposite side. We don't know the adjacent side, and we know the angle. We use the tangent again. So in this case, we say that the tangent of 30 degrees is, by definition, equal to the ratio of the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. And the opposite side is, in this case, 40 as well. And the adjacent side, in this case, is B, which means that B is equal to 40 divided by the tangent of 30 degrees. And then again, we grab our calculator. So we go 40 divided by the tangent of 30, and we get 69.282. All right? So that's 69.282. And then we said that x is b minus a. So since x is b minus a, b is 69.282 minus a, which is 23.094. And let's see here, 69 minus 23, that would be 46 point. And 282 minus 0.94 is 182 plus 6, that's 188, 188. And that would be the length of x. And that's how we do that. So notice, what you have to do is recognize the various triangles to, to work with. We first work with the smaller triangle, then we work with the bigger triangle. We use this angle for, uh, let's see here. No, we couldn't use that angle for the first triangle because we have to use this angle. So we use this angle here for the first triangle. We use this angle for the second triangle. Found A and B, subtract the two, and you find X. And that's how we do that.